Hey, what's going on everybody? Todd with MarkPorterLive.com and today we're going to find out how to embed YouTube videos into emails. That's right, YouTube videos into emails. Now, uh, there is a little disclosure I need to start off with. Um, you actually can't embed a video into an email. I know, I know, the whole thing is titled Embed Videos in an Email. Well, because of security issues, you can't actually put a video into an email message and send it off. The, uh, the system just won't actually let you do that. But what you can do is the next best thing, which is to put a picture of a video into an email and send that off and have that open up into YouTube in a web browser. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, first, we got a, uh, a email message here. Let's get to this one. Um, Marsha, I thought you might like to see this from your last class. And then you have a link here to the video uh, that you're talking about. Now, this isn't too bad. It's not, um, you know, the gobbledygook that uh, is the URL, the web address that you usually see. It is, um, you know, I cleaned it up a little bit, but it just doesn't really pop. It's just, it's just a link, you know, it's just kind of boring there. Um, so let's try this. Instead of that, instead of the number one here, uh, how about this? Instead of just a link, you actually have a picture of the video, and when you click on it, it actually opens up the video in a web browser. Now, of course, that does look a lot better, don't you think? So let's see how to do that. Uh, it actually is pretty easy in uh, Office. This is the newest Office, uh, Office 365, that you can get. But it's also capable in uh, your earlier versions of Office for Windows. Um, so what we're going to do is we need to get a picture, of course, of the video. So we can go down here. Now this one it was already playing, so it doesn't have the nice little pause button. So. Uh, what I like to do is actually get it here so that you have the play button there so that uh, whoever you're sending it to can uh, take a look at it. And if you've put your own videos up into YouTube, then this uh, should look familiar, the video manager here. So at this point, what you can do is you can Alt Print Screen, hold down Alt, hit Print Screen, and that is going to copy this window here, just the browser window, not everything else, just the browser window. And then you can open up um, one of your um, photo programs or something like paint and copy or paste the the, uh, the picture into there and then copy that as a JPEG. But starting with Windows 7, there is a nifty new little program called the Snipping Tool. What the Snipping Tool does is it allows you to make a picture out of just what you want using little crosshairs here. So I want a picture of that, got that, save it. As you can see, I already got it in here. Yes. And now I have got a picture of what I want and just what I want. So at this point, what I'm going to do is go back to my uh, message here, go up to insert, and then hit pictures. Choose my picture, insert it in, and voila, I've got my picture here. Now, what I need to do at this point is actually hyperlink it. So I just need to right click, choose hyperlink. This is where you want to put in the URL for your video and specifically for your video. So you go back to the uh, to your web browser and if you are in the video manager here, you've got it, the video URL over here. So you can just right click that, copy, go back here and put that in the address bar and click OK. Now, what if this isn't your own video? What if you want to share uh, a video that somebody else made and you don't have access to the video manager? Well, pretty easy. Same deal in uh, Outlook. Just go down to hyperlink and then go back to here and say if it was this video and you, it, this wasn't yours. If you go down to where it says share, click that, you got the hyperlink here. Copy. Go back to your email message, paste, hit OK, and done. Done and done. Send it off, and you have now got a wonderful little picture with a hyperlink. And I got the message here. I click on it. 
and it opens up in the browser window automatically playing fantastic now I know what you're saying well uh, I don't have Windows I have a Mac so does the uh, this little trick in office uh, Outlook work for me well unfortunately not so they have also got a Mac version as well and the latest version that they've got is Outlook 2011 unfortunately it does not have that capability built into it hopefully in the newer versions of Outlook for Mac they will have that capability built into the system but as of right now they don't so unfortunately you're just gonna have to use Windows <laughs> or just use the the regular hyperlink like they did before but that is it for today's tech tip. I hope you learned a lot and uh, make sure that you head on over to markporterlive.com to find out some of the more classes that Mark is uh, having, including video internet marketing, which you can learn this tip and a whole lot more. Um, so make sure you get on over to markporterlive.com to find out where he's gonna be having one of those classes in a location near you. And don't forget to check out our YouTube channel Mark Porter Live right there on YouTube and you can find out a lot more about some of the other classes that we got going on and some other great tech tips right there on the internet. So until next time, don't stop learning.